There have been quite a few card readers coming out over the past few years, some more standard ones like from Sandus, Sony and stuff, but also some more specialized ones for creators like PJ Whitehack did recently, but none of them actually convinced me to get one because there was always something missing. For example, some card readers only read SD cards, others only read CFAS Express Type A or Type B, but not both at the same time. The SD card readers oftentimes also don't come with a micro SD card reader so you would have to use an adapter all the time. And that kind of sucks because it always meant that I had to bring multiple card readers to read all of my cards or I had to plug in my cameras via USB-C, which mostly works but not always perfectly, especially if I also want to use my phone with it. But luckily Freewell changed that today because they bring out their Pro Reader, which actually can read all cards and it can do quite a bit more. So let's get into it. And a little disclaimer before we get started, Freewell did sent me this reader for free and I will keep it after making this video but I'm not sponsored to say anything here I don't get paid and they will also not see this review before it gets live so this is a completely independent review and it's my honest opinion. So I already used this reader for over a month so I already know it quite well it's always good when companies send you the products a little bit earlier because just testing it for a few days it's usually not enough really to have an opinion about a product but here in that case that's better. So let's start with the features directly and the main feature is definitely that it can literally hold and read all cards like you can see at first we have six slots here for micro SD cards that's great for all the action cam users and drone flyers then here you have two SD card slots or holders and here's another SD card slot when you turn it around so three SD cards in total and then a CFAS Express type A and one CFAS Express type B slot which I think is enough because generally CFAS Express type A and B they have a bit more storage space so having one of those cards in your camera and another one here is more than enough. I actually only use one CFAS Express Type A card right now. And when you look at it here from the side, you see all the slots for reading your card. So also one slot for SD, one for micro SD, then CFAS Express Type A and CFAS Express Type B. And what's best about it is that you can read all those cards simultaneously. So even if you plug four cards in SD, micro SD, CFAS A and CFAS B, you, you can read all of them at the same time. So you don't have to wait until one card is finished and then you plug the next one in as it is with many card readers. No, you come home, you put all your cards in, you start the copying process, go in the kitchen, make a coffee, and when you come back, it's all copied already. And that feature alone is great. It also comes with a little bonus here for all the travelers that still use normal SIM cards instead of eSIMs, which I would actually suggest doing today. Here you also find two additional slides for SIM cards. I think it's nano and micro SIM cards that you can use for that. And it also comes with a SIM card remover here. So great for travelers if you still don't use eSIMs because there are some eSIM apps already that are pretty good actually. And aside from that, it also comes with a USB-C cable included, which I find also super important because I'm quite forgetful. And so it's definitely better to have that cable included here. Otherwise I would probably still not be able sometimes to copy my files. And if you're still using USB type A, it also comes with this little type A adapter here. So you can just plug that on here, on there and you have a USB type A port. And this adapter is also USB 3 with up to 10 gigabits. So you have exactly the same read and write speed as with the normal USB-C cable, which I find also quite important for all the Windows users. Good to know is also that you can use it with your phone. I tested it with the iPhone 15 Pro here and it worked perfectly. It read all my files and it was super fast. Of course, the same counts for Android, but as far as Freewell's website says, you can't use that with previous iPhone versions, but I'm not sure if you could use a lighting adapter to USB-C to make it work or not. Don't have a lighting adapter, so I can't test that here. And there's also a weird graphic on Freewell World's website right now, which makes it look like that you could only use your phone with CFAS Express Type A cards, but I tested it and that's not true. You can also use CFAS Express Type B cards together with your phone. So all cards, SD, micro SD, CFAS A and CFAS B, all works with both your computer and also your phone. Just in this graphic on the website, it looks like the CFAS Express Type B cards would not work, but that's not the case, luckily. So much about the features, definitely looks great. 
great, but what about the speed with this thing? I did a little test here where I compared it with the Per Gear CFAS Express Type A reader that I use all the time before I got the Freewell one. So the reading speed on the Freewell reader was 555 to about 605 megabyte per second versus 580 to 650 megabyte per second on the Per Gear one. So the Per Gear was a little bit faster there, but not so that it would really make an actual difference, like a felt difference. I would overall say that reading speed is most important for this reader because you already wrote all the files on the SD cards and you just transfer them to your computer, right? But well, I tested writing as well and writing I got 460 to 475 megabyte per second on the Freewell one and on the Pair Gear one 450 to 470 megabyte per second. So there the Freewell is actually a little bit better. And I also tested the writing and reading speed with CFAS Express Type B cards only with the Freewell one and that's writing 700 megabyte per second and reading 490 megabyte per second. No, it's not an error here. I don't know. Like usually it should read faster than it writes, but in that case, that's what I measured. So there I would also say that it could definitely be faster because those type B cards, they can usually read and write at like 1600 megabyte per second. So it's definitely on the slower side here. I think it's probably limited because of the USB-C connection. It's not Thunderbolt or USB-4 or something like that. It's just a USB-C 3.2 as far as I know. And it's just a bit slower. It caps out at 10 gigabits. So we probably get a bit slower reading and writing speeds because of that. I would have personally loved to see USB 4 or Thunderbolt 3 or 4 speeds with this reader, but that would, uh, would have probably made it a bit more expensive because then they would have to pay license fees to those companies. But I do also have a very positive note here when it comes to speed with this reader, and that is that it directly shows up as a drive when you connect it. Like with many SSD drives that I used over the past, for example, I have it that you usually have to wait like up to 10 seconds or so until it appears, but with this reader, it is directly there, so that's super fast, at least in that regards. Yeah, and talking about my own experience with this card reader, I really can't say anything negative about it. Like, as mentioned, it always connected fast. The transfer speed, I was okay with that. And it never had any errors or so, never any connection issues, so perfectly fine. If there's one thing that I would improve on this reader, it's the outside. Like, it is all metal and here, where, where was it? Here on one edge, I can already see the coloring slightly getting off and because it's flat material if you keep it in your bag maybe something will scratch on it or so so it will look old quickly there I would have definitely preferred to have some rubber around it or so like per uh, like PJ Tech does for example with their card reader but it's not an actual issue it doesn't cause any actual damage that the device wouldn't work anymore it's just that you might have some scratches or so pretty quick in there, so that's like the only thing that I would really improve in that. But therefore, they also included a very pleasing opening sound. That's super nice, I enjoy opening it. It's actually something that I recognize pretty much instantly. So, so much about the reader itself. There's one more question left and that's the price. Now, during launch, they will have an introductory price of $99 for the Pro Reader. There's also a second one, the Duo Reader, which only reads SD cards. I would personally not get it, but if you only use SD cards anyway, then that might be fine. And this reader is only $39 for launch. But after this launch period, those prices will go up. It's $139.99 then for the Pro Reader and $49.99 for the Duo Reader. Still pretty good prices for what you get there, but well, I would probably rather get it early. So if you're interested in this reader or the Duo Reader, you will find links to both of them in the description below. Those are affiliate links. So I get a small commission if you purchase through those links, but you don't pay anything extra. So that's the best or at least most affordable way to support this channel. And yeah, aside from that, if you enjoyed this review, then please leave me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.